Let's take a look at my 2023 Ranger 520R. This is a, an insane boat. I mean, it's, it's just all the features on this thing. Let's check it out. All right, so up here in front of the boat, we have the Lorenz Ghost. Um, great trolling motor, never had any issues with this thing. It's just, just, they've really tested it out. I mean, it's rock solid. One thing I like to do every year is to mount a troll tamer from PH Marine. Um, and, and this really just makes the troll motor stay in place, rough water, um, it's not rattling around. You know, you're not gonna be moving this. Um, and, and they tap it in to this little pole that comes with the Ghost. Um, Hennessy Outdoors did that as well. They rigged the entire boat. They put the plate in right here as well. You can see this plate. This didn't come standard or anything, but they, they threw bolt this plate just to ensure that you know the screws aren't gonna pull out. So I, I love this feature. Um, going up the trolling motor, you can see this little, uh, this is called a C-stick, and this is just something I've been really looking for for my ghost. And this just ensures that it's lined up with my active target so I can make those precise casts when I'm using it. Um, I have a, a different aftermarket mount on here from Sonar Pros. Um, I got this just, you know, to ensure that this is not gonna be moving around on me. Um, it's really sturdy and uh, I definitely like this mount. So you see the step right here. Uh, I, I love this product. I love steps on a boat. Put it on myself as the trick step. And it's not just for old men either. You can be a young bug. It's nice not to come off the boat every time you hurt your knees. So up front, I'm running two HDS Live 12s. Um, and this is a, a dual mount from Tennessee Outdoors. Um, I, used this mount last year. I got the same one for up front. It, it's a really cool mount, adjustable. Um, they did this logo right here, engraved in here. Uh, it's got Bubaloo sticker that Krista put on there, love that. Um, but yeah, really a rock solid mount. Got the chill tracks on here. Uh, this is just for those hot summer days. You wanna go barefooted, not gonna burn your feet. Love that. Oh, let me show you my rod lockers. Oh yeah, look at all that space. Look. Oh yeah. In case you want to hide from your competitors. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of scary. All right, and then you're gonna want to look in here. More space. Mm-hmm. Cute baby important um, then you got some more storage here lots of bags cooler keep it open deep deep cooler uh, let's see right here we'll go to the graphs um, I have Hennessy Outdoors made this uh, this mount, and I got the Bass Boat Technologies gimbals on here, and it's a rock solid mount. Hennessy also did these you know, a few different custom um, engravements right here. They put Ranger boats. I love that. All right, so you see right here we have the ride system. Um, I pretty much can control everything I need to in my fingertips right here. Um, I have the lights. Uh, you can see right here, got the lights on. Um, go to controls, live well, um, oxygenator, fan. You know, you can do your media if you have that hooked up, which I don't as well. Control your brightness on here. Go back to the home. Um, you can do night mode. We got on the left side right here, you got the live well temp and the water temp as well. So uh, really an awesome system. And if you don't 
want to just press this all the time, you can go down here to these three switches, these blue that are, that are lit up. Um, these are the nav lights, the bilge, and also your live wells as well. So down here, got the hot foot. Um, always love this. You've got two, you can use two hands on the wheel, use your hot foot. It's a must have on every bass boat. So in this day box right here, this is another thing that Hennessy did for me. Engraved my J. Lee logo on here, which is just a, a really custom thing that they can do on, on any bass boat. Um, in this day box, you have uh, a cell phone charger uh, built in, which is really nice. Uh, keep anything you want in here. Got some goodie powder. Gonna have some tin cans in here. Haven't quite got this all tidy, but uh, keep anything you want in this day box. So integrated right here into the boat, they have these straps um, for, a, for a net. Um, the net can fold right here in this place. Keeps it out of the way, you don't have it in the floorboard. Really like how they, they put this in and a lot of space is, is made for a fisherman in this boat, obviously, and um, that was a smart uh, thing to keep in mind. So go back to the live wells. Uh, just noted this, this right here comes standard with the uh, the clips right here has six um, for your uh, cold clips. Um, the live wells are also lighted um, in their space for your you know boater co angler. Um, really nice live wells. Like I said before on the ride system. Um, there's a temp gauge in here that tells you what your live well temp is. So in the summertime, you can keep it at a certain temp. So on your partner space over here, you have um, cigarette lighter and also USB if you need to charge your phone. I have you know a few little cleaners in here, real magic. Um, so just something where your your co angler, your partner can put some of his tackle in. They got a little small little. Uh, not compartment, but a small little space over there too if they need to put, put a few things. But I like how they did that um, on the R-Boat. So on the left side over here, we have my cranking batteries. Um, this is for my electronics as well, accessories. Uh, I have two Monster Marine. They're called Beast 2.0, uh, 1500 volt cranking amps, uh, 170 amp hours on these batteries. Got them linked up in parallel have the charge system for power pole, um, place for your spare prop. Over here we got two 36 volts linked in parallel. Uh, these are called the Titan and uh, they're 73 amp hours. So uh, I really like to run these two in parallel just to ensure that little peace of mind that hey, troll motor batteries are gonna be rock solid for days at a time. Really like these batteries for Monster Marine. One thing I like too about the, the Rangers, um, they have this flow right plug, um, so in and out. So if you do forget to put your plug in, you can swap it over right there. Um, also, this is new from uh, the charge, uh, just an easy plug right here, clip it in. Um, you don't have to worry about pulling out your extension cord. It's just really a nice place for it right there. Going back to the engine, um, have the Yamaha Show V Max 250. Uh, this is like the second year of this new Callan. Really like this look. We got the TH Marine Atlas Jack plate on here. Um, you know, this is a must have, especially when you're in shallow water or just getting on pad. I'm always adjusting this constantly. Got the TH Marine steer stops on here um, going down the road. Got the motor stick also from TH Marine. I have just one on here uh, for the Yamaha. So I got the custom power pole blades. These are the eight footers. Uh, these are powder coated gray. Match the wrap, match the boat. Um, had these on my boat for a long time and rock solid power pole. Hope y'all enjoyed the walkthrough. Ranger 520 yards, an awesome boat. Um, if there are any questions, leave them in the comments, and appreciate y'all watching.